What does a baby and a 3D printer have in common? That's right, they're both extruding machines, and they both drool. Fleshforge has a nice technical solution. They call this filament ooze plate. Probably because ooze shield is already taken for something else. I like Dmitry Sorkin's title for this. He calls this slunavchik. In English, this would be a bib. So I'm shamelessly stealing this and calling it a bib. Before we jump into the IDEX versus magnetic IDEX video, take note of the red toolhead because it does not have a bib. What you're about to see is not a race. I just want to demonstrate how two machines implement IDEX printing. Both printers are using default printing profiles that work well, but I'm sure that FlashForge settings are way too conservative. Keep in mind that FlashForge is carrying an extra X-axis motor, extra belt, and extra pulleys. At the end of this video, you can see the comparison of the perch towers. The green color printed by the red tool will have some oozing on it, while the red color could have gotten away without a perch tower entirely.